Most FME file reader writers can now specify a data set in a handful of ways. In addition to pointing to an actual file, they also accept a URL or a zip file. Let's say we've been given a link to a data set of points representing graffiti spots around Vancouver. We can, of course, download the file and then read it using FME's KML Reader. But now our reader has another option. We can put the URL in as the source. The file will be temporarily downloaded and then deleted when the translation is complete. Let's add some processing to only see the graffiti spots with a count of more than 10. So you can see that we were able to use a URL as the source dataset just like normal. Another new option is to give a zip file as the source. We'll use the shape format. And notice how the source dataset picker dialog has inserted a filter for zip files. The zip file will be treated like a directory, so you can use a path like so. This will get all the .shp files in the given zip. The zip file will be extracted to a temporary location before translation and deleted after the translation is complete. Now you know how to use a URL or a zip file as a reader data source. It's worth noting that a URL pointing to a zip file is supported. The file will first be downloaded and then will be unzipped. On the writer side, you can also use zip files. This can easily be done by clicking a button on the Add Writer dialog. In a zip file, you can fan out the dataset just like in a directory. We can modify the parameters for this by right clicking on the destination and choosing Fan Out Dataset. Let's try this by fanning out by the count attribute. We'll add a prefix to the output datasets. And again, you can see that we created a shape output dataset just like normal, except formed as a zip file. You should now be able to embrace greater flexibility in choosing your dataset, whether it's a regular file, a zip file, or a URL.